The thing that's fun to show off, and I'm showing off right now, is I just walked up the aisle here with a workstation in one hand. And so you see these wonderful handles. We're always moving these things around. And so what you see is something that's got very clean lines on the front of the workstation. This design here basically has a slot load feed, so it's very clean on the front. If you've got multiple optical bays, you can actually replace this and have multiple optical bays in front here so you have more access points. It still is the same size of our previous workstations. And so when we open up the, the side panel here, what you see is a design on the inside. The first thing I want to point out is the fact that you see green touch points all over. Those green touch points represent places for which you can service the workstation. And the first one I'm going to point out is right up on top here. This green handle right here, I'm going to pull out the power supply. This is, we think, one of the first power supplies ever designed to be customer serviceable and does not require any disconnection of cables and so forth. So in the event you would have a workstation that for whatever reason failed and it wasn't turning on, the first thing we can do over the phone with a customer is say, just pull the power supply out and plug it in and tell us if the green light is on. If the green light doesn't come on, we can immediately ship out to that customer a new supply, have them back up and running in basically 24 hours. That's kind of the beginning of the workstation in terms of some really neat innovation on the supply. There are actual designs in this cowling that allow us to manage the airflow. And if I put this cowling back on, and you can see how easy that was, the cowling, the, the fresh air from here actually flows over the top of the first processor and down to the second processor. So once again, something that was very stylish became very, very functional and very, very important in helping us manage this design and really controlling the acoustics. So underneath these fans right here are 12 memory dims. You've got to be able to service those. And so here are two fans, and you just saw me pull this out. Once again, I did not disconnect any cables. We have the ability to actually manage the fan speed of each one of the fans inside the box to optimally cool that area based upon the loads that we're seeing, as well as manage the acoustics optimally. Now, as you begin to look inside here, another important new distinction you will notice is that we don't have very many cables. You see one cable that basically is a power connector here to the backside by where the memory is. We basically moved them out of the way and made it very convenient for people to service. From a user point of view, I love it because it's easy to service. From an engineering point of view, it's very practical. Many PCs require you to unscrew the cards from the back bulkhead. Well, this has no screws. There's simply a, a, a very well-designed latch that allows me to open up the back bulkhead. Now, as you look here, you say, gee, Terry, there's two more green touch points right here. I can press these two buttons, and there's a fan assembly. That fan assembly is actually a mechanism that holds the motherboard in place. I can remove the entire motherboard with just these tools, my fingers. The last area that I'll show about here, uh, talk about here with regards to the design is the hard drive bay. And once again, this philosophy of no cables. So I've just pulled a hard drive out. And what you'll see is it comes in a carrier. And I simply place the hard drive in place, and then using a simple lever, it cams the drive in place. In other words, it forces the drive back into the cables and makes a, makes a, a firm connection. But that's the new Z800 workstation. Thank you.